You're watching Eric Dida's World News, today's headlines. Russia has reported a large-scale attack on an airbase in Lilpix, a city located 330 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Villages in the vicinity were evacuated as Ukrainian forces continued their operations within the Russian territory. Venezuela's contested president, Nicolas Maduro, announced that access to the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, will be blocked for 10 days. The decision enforced by the state take by the state telecommunication agency aims to remove the platform from circulation in the country. In other news, in Nigeria's Kano state, authorities arrested over 90 individuals for waving Russian flags during cost of living protests. Similar demonstrations where Russian flags were seen occurred in the capital, Abadjo, and other northern states. And the United States, Egypt, and Qatar have issued a joint call for Israel and Hamas to resume ceasefire negotiations. The three nations have agreed on a framework with final details pending. For talks scheduled in mid-August in Doha or Cairo, Israel confirmed its participation whilst Hamas has not yet responded. That's all I have for today. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back on Monday. Cheerio.